It's not clickbait. On March 9th, I will be hosting my last theory episode, at which point I'll be handing off the channels to someone else. What you guys saw wasn't clickbait. It's official. MatPat is officially retiring from making YouTube videos and he's passing out the channel to someone else. It has been a real honor serving with him for the past few years, but as the saying goes, all good things must come to an end. So MatPat, it's been a real honor serving with you for these few years of YouTube and we're all gonna miss you so much. So now well, let's get started on this video. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're gonna be playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth again. And this is part 10 of me playing it. So if you're gonna enjoy it, make sure you like and subscribe and let's get started. So apparently in the last video, we heard like some complaints about like gun shooting with a guy that has an arm. And that sounded like Barrett, but it was not Barrett. It turns out it was one of Barrett's friends or Marlene's real dad. So now let's just make this video. employees used to live. But when hordes of fiends started appearing, the staff relocated up top where it was safe. The buildings vacant. All sorts of low lives, ruffians and ne'er do wells swooped in to stake their claim. Ah, the place it could have been tears me up inside. So basically another wall market. Ha! Mm. A paradise compared to this cesspool. Set one foot inside and it's farewell freedom, so long dignity. I mean why else do you think they started calling it Corel Prison? Except that prison's got no bars, no rules. Mugging, maiming, murdering. It's all on the table. In summary, prepare yourselves for one seriously cold reception. This is our stop. Looks like it. Where are we now? Oh, wait, wrong, wrong button. Oh no, I think this is where the weapon is. Hmm? Nobody home? Oh, they're home, all right. Stay sharp. Yuffie, Yuffie, please, please, come back. <laughs> Shit. Entry. Rise and shine. Huh? Top of the morning to you. <laughs> Whoa, now. Wouldn't try that if I was you. <laughs> All right, follow me. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> you just wait right there. Hey, boss! Your guests are here! Boy! Looks like someone I want to slap. Woo! Hell yeah! Allow me to welcome you to my desert oasis, Cloud. Welcome. Cloud, right? The uh, Merc for Hire? Got it in one, boss man. But which <laughs> one of you is it? Is it you? Mm -hmm. You? Maybe you? Mm -hmm. Or is it the pooch? <gasps> I'm just messing with you. That there is our man. 
I don't think we've met. Of course we haven't met. You got brain damage? I'm not the type of player folks tend to forget. Just look at it. Now, you may not know me, but I know you. And why do you think that is, why do you think? Mr. Mercenary? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because it's my business to know. Yeah. And what kind of businessman would I be if I didn't have the scoop on the man who brought down Donny C? Yeah. Let Think me just say, it. bravo. Well done. We're nice. looking for someone. Hey there, man. hi there, ho there. No need to explain. Intel's my bread and butter. Really gotta tell you twice? Uptown secrets always trickle down. Which is why I'm ever so certain that you'll be useful. What do you want? So the son of a bitch with a gun for an arm? <laughs> I got him under man. lock and key. Out in the middle of the dunes. Now, I'm a generous guy, so I'd be happy to tell you where to find him. So but only if I get a little something from you first, understand? That little something being a shitload of money. I want stacks of it, heaps of it, mountains of it. Uh, I mean, did you hear what he did? Your buddy shot Shinra troopers in broad freaking daylight. So I ain't about to give him up for free. You think my prison runs on good deeds? No, sir. It runs on guilt. So much so goddamn guilt. You're done. So yeah, Gil, that's what I want. And relax, I know you don't have it on you, but I got an idea on how you can scrape some together. <laughs> I'm entering you and one lucky chocobo in the races, and you are gonna win. <laughs> on that note, until you bring home the bacon, I'm gonna hold on to your piggies. Right, help us out. Oh, hey, hey, chill out, kiddo. We'll take excellent care of them. Unless you fail to deliver, in which case, well, let's just say there are plenty of other ways to raise the funds on quad. Oh, screw off. <laughs> Can put a price on anything. Trick. Ah, uh ah, -uh, that's Gus to you. Ooh. Got that, jockey boy? As for all those pesky race details, talk to Garth here. I got you, boss man. Don't let me down, huh? Later. Yeah, I want to stop him. All right, Mr. Merc, let's go meet your bird. <laughs> Better stick close, you hear? <laughs> no need to worry about us. We can handle ourselves. All right. Anyways, anyways, anyways from the video That's I saw, right. the weapon is you here. Just follow me or run for it. Go on. There it is. Yeah. Now I'll show you how cool this weapon looks. And there you go. Tell me that isn't cool. Looks cool as hell. Oh wait, I forgot to give that to him. Come on, let me just see. Let's just focus. How far you get? Yo! Brought your new champ! Hmm. He's all yours! So, you're Cloud the Merc. <laughs> Can't say I was expecting someone so pretty. Huh? Hi, Mister. Chocobo Wrangler. Pleasure. Wait, Cloud? Aren't you that kid from the ranch? Well, hang on. You two know each other? What happened? What? We're making our way to the saucer for Pico's racing really? debut. When these ones nabbed us. Hold up. How about you tell them the real story? How you were dying out there in the dunes? How we saved your scrawny ass? Ungrateful little piece of shit. 
So, you want me to race Pico? <laughs> the one and only. In that state? Our trek through the desert did a real number on him. Can barely lift a claw. If he doesn't eat and regain his strength, I don't fancy his chances. Aww. Good thing his jockey's on the job. Pico needs food, and you're gonna find it. Fine. I'm coming too. Okay then. Grab that bird some grub and bring it to me. I'll be waiting. Alright. Anyways, I'm gonna pause the video real quick because I want to get water. Alright guys, so I'm back with the waters. I really did get water. Come, y'all get to eat bad. Having trouble finding that feed for Pico? Let me think. Oh yeah, try the QB collector who's been hanging out down here. I heard he's got some produce. Good luck out there, cutie pie. Okay, thank you for that, I guess. Now where do we go? Where do we go now? Check in. I spent three years working on this thing. Let me check the map real quick. the video real quick so I could find like some help into doing this okay so I think I know where to go she said that I need to go to like the underground ring damn it's not working so I need to go to like some kind of underground ring what is this Mr. Gus presents the one, the only, Desert Rush. For a limited time only, if you earn the high score, you'll get some rare greens. Step right up and give it a try. No, 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 no. I just only Have came to get food. Hope to see you again. Jumper, watering hole for the drags of the Dust Bowl. Heard you're in the market for some greens. Maybe. If so, I've got a garden up on the cliff. Everything's yours for the taking. Assuming there's anything to take, I've intended to in ages. Here, go see for yourself. Be sure to keep an eye out for fiends, though. The place is crawling with them. Don't know why I bother. This stuff's more water than food. Right here, leave the green button to you. We don't want to get in the way. Wait, I want to test out my new blade. <laughs> This is 
is a fun event. No time to celebrate. Hey, hey, hey. We won't hold back. Get ready. You had your chance. that for the chocobos. Try that again.
Not looking good. So much no. for being a mercenary. Ah, let's try again. I'll just avoid the fights because that chocobo is more important than the fights. Try that again. Okay, let's try that again. Compared to the stuff folks are growing out in the grasslands, it's downright. Listen up, hey, I ain't picky. Alright, so I guess this one was just. Give it a try. You won't regret it. Uh, you know, it's fine. I'll try. Ha! 
What am I supposed to? Oh, here. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Where the hell do I go? Huh. Oh, let me retry. Oh, there, there.
New record, sweet. Great job out there. Got some greens for you, as promised. Nice. You know what? I like to I like to do one more time. Time's up. 
New record. Sweet. That was incredible. Took me by surprise. Oh, I got something new for Tifa. Come back if you want. There you go. A challenge. Okay, so I think People we got enough for berries for Pico. So let's just go. Sandbags to get them clean. Wonder if it's any veggies. better for him than a. Stand All right, let's see what you found. It's a start, but nowhere near enough. Now let's see another one. He's looking a lot better now, but we could get him in great shape with a touch more. Okay, so we need to get one more. Listen up, asshole! Oh, here. Okay. Looks like another card game hey. for me. No need to say a word. I already know your story. You're on the hunt for chocobo greens. Am I right? Yep. Well, I'd be willing to scratch your back, provided you'd be willing to scratch mine. Hold on a second, guys. I'm sorry about that, guys. A friend called. So anyways, let's continue. My casino happens to be plagued by a gaggle of rather eccentric Queen's Blood players. I'd love it if someone could take them down a notch or two. So, think you're up to the task? I'll handle it. Much obliged. Outlandish though they are, they play a mean game. So mean that it's scaring away my clientele. I need someone to get out there and prove they can be beaten. Got three troublemakers in total. Still looking for action, no doubt. Thanks in advance. Before you go, though, you should take a look at the cards I have for sale. I guarantee they'll come in handy. Hmm. I'm just going to buy the whole thing. Cards of the highest quality, guaranteed. Browse as long as you like. Okay guys, so let's just go here I get I take it we're supposed to I go to another area. Can't swim farther. So I guess I have to stay here. My hell. Nice. Hey Carl, it's me. Sadly, this is a considerably dangerous location. So I decided to disguise myself. How did I do? Costumes like these are known to elicit a common effect, so I should be safe. Unfortunately, we can't say the same for Baron. I'm confident of his innocence, though, and I will do everything in my power to help prove it. Alright, so gravity. Yeah. Okay, 
I'm gonna use this in the way. This is the coolest game I've ever played. But I don't know what's like, you know, the number one coolest game. But I, but if I had to say, I'd probably say it's gonna be The Last of Us Part One, obviously. I'm gonna fight a phoenix. I'm gonna fight a phoenix. and I'm gonna check out I got your name. Okay, I think I'm gonna call out my summon. this guy got on my own summon get him there he is my favorite one
Damn it. Hero you turned out to be. <sighs> Looks like I'm not ready for these kind of battles. Challenge failed. It's close. Oh, a titan. Hmm. Let me try the phoenix. Let me try this again, okay? Forget it. You know what? Forget it. We're gonna get out of this and we're gonna continue the story. This data is incredible. Thank you for your needless to say. Many hazards await you on the road. So take care. Play Queen's Blood. That's going to be tricky. I'm a living statue, you see. I'm not supposed to move under any circumstances. Then why are you talking? Your mouth is moving. Well, I guess I could move my arms at least. <laughs> You're going to regret making me come to life. Let's just play.
Alright, let's try this. I know I'm gonna lose. I don't have any space. I ain't got no space to put my cards in. Damn it, I lost. Not forget him. No one stands a chance of beating me once I come to life. Yeah, yeah I should have listened. Come one and all to see the living statue who plays queens. Mm -hmm. Oh, where have you been, handsome? I take it you're here to join me for a drink? Well, aren't you the sweetest little thing? Ugh, you big party pooper. Fine, be that way. Guess we'll play Queen's Blood instead. Okay, this time I'll <laughs> arrange my cards correctly. Oh no, don't even try to wiggle out of it. Because I'm Mary, darling dear. And when I've knocked a few back, nobody slips through my fingers. So. I'm really sorry about that, guys. Don't worry, I'm choice. all fine now. So I'm supposed to defeat three people. I'm gonna put all this back. I'm gonna choose wisely. Let's try this. Alright, Okay guys, so I found another way where I can feed Pico. And it's basically where you like fight a gang. It's where I fight a gang. So this is it. So I don't have to play a card game just to look promising. I can't see. Let's go somewhere more quiet. <laughs> I ain't gonna hurt you. Promise. <laughs> Guess I'll wait here. <laughs> Look who's come waltzing back. You got it. Just straight ahead. What? Got a problem? <laughs> Nothing interesting over there. Where do you think you're going? I don't know my way around this place. Look who's back. <laughs> oh, come on. I don't fight. <laughs> you ain't getting away. Oh. And here we are. <laughs> now we can have a nice private talk without anyone butting in. <laughs> <laughs> It's time you got a lesson in the way things work around here. Don't worry, you can thank us later. Here I come. No holding back. Let's finish this. Get ready. Get 
This ends here. Going in. I'll end this. Let's finish this. You know, you could have just told us you were out of our league. I mean, uh, thanks for the match. It was a real learning experience. Wasn't it, boys? <laughs> oh, great. We got something special for you. A gift to remember us by. Oh, thank yeah. you. And with that, we'll hurry up and get out of your hair. Right, boys? Yeah. Very sorry to have troubled you, but we won't do it again! Promise! Freaking weirdos. And that makes three. Once Pico's had his fill, he'll be ready to hit the track and win us that race. Pico's been feeling peckish. All right, let's film that final one. And now he's all good. Oh, well, Pico's right as rain and fit to hit the track whenever you are. When you're ready to head up to the stadium, just speak to your babysitter over there. Um. Oh, before you go. If you happen to have any more greens, consider trading them in for racing gear. Vegetables are hard to come by down here, so I'd be happy to buy yours. So, you ready or what? Of course I'm ready. About time. Let's get this show on the road. Come with me. Actually, on second thought, I'll take him up top. That work for you? Say what? <laughs> Fine. You want to go roll in the hay with this idiot? Go wild. And on that note, follow me. It's hard to believe this is the same Pico that nearly died in the desert. You should have seen him that first day, the poor boy. Or Hold on one second, guys. Couldn't so much as give us a right. quay without coughing up fix sand. Something real quick. He's a whole new bird now, though. Might even have what it takes to win. Question is, do you? Even the fastest chocobos can't win Jack without the right jockey. I've seen my fair share of promising birds wasted on riders who didn't know their asses from a hole in the ground. Believe me, in the racing world, it's all about who's holding the reins. Okay, on you go. Competing in the race today? Yep. We'll get your bird prepped for you. Just sit tight in the jockey lounge. And no wandering off, okay? You grow lovelier by the day. <laughs> uh huh, sure I do. Oh, where are my manners? This here's Joe. He's one of Sam's jockeys. <laughs> and as much as it pains me to admit it, the man's far and away the best rider in the sport. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. This is Cloud, an up and coming star of the track, and all ours. Be sure to wave high when he laps you. 
Well, sounds like you got a fan, son. I wonder, though, you win her over with your skills or with one of them smoldering looks? <laughs> Don't see why it can't be both. About time I had some competition, assuming Esther's not full of it. For both our sakes, I hope she isn't. <sighs> Forget him. The race is starting soon, so stay focused. Speaking of, you might want to consider practicing. The sim here can help with that. Oh, a simulator. Now let's practice. Oh, I have to hold. And that's the drift. Practicing a bit. Now let's put this. your debut in the racing world yep. our next race will begin shortly all participating jockeys please proceed to the paddock you good to go yep Hmm. Alright, 
Here's this is at the International Chocobos Race. That recent shooting. <sighs> You're not talking about the Coliseum, are you? Yes, I was there. Or I would have been had I not gone to the bathroom just before. That's amazing. You're Andrew so Tate is everywhere now. <laughs> Which is why I know my bird's a winner. <laughs> Ooh, what a scrumptious looking parfait. And with plenty of butterscotch, I see. Bottoms up. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Tate. <laughs> na, 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 na. Got eyes on him. Oh, I'm fine, thanks. Do you know how hot it is out here? I'm melting. <sighs> God, what asshole decided our uniforms had to be black? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there as well, at least you look like John Wick. You freaking better. And bring something cold to drink. Or better yet, ice cream. It's just gonna melt. No, okay. vanilla. Seriously, I'm gonna keep stroke over here. I'm gonna die. You want that? Do ya? <sighs> Wish you were here, partner. All right, Pico, are you ready? Damn it. Alright, so I might be second place. I knew I'd back to 
winner! You're the real deal, kiddo! I just provided the encouragement. And thanks to you, my prison's gonna be a goddamn palace! Good for you. Ooh, so frosty. Uh. But here in the desert, we like it hot, fiery, dangerous! <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. Now where's our guy? Easy, Snowflake. Solemn Gus is a man of his word. Are you scared I'll break my promise? <laughs> that Barrett tunnel over there will take you where you need to go. Past all that quicksand like a slippery little sidewinder. And at the other end, one of my beautiful vultures will be waiting to guide you through the desert. So be a good tourist. We got old Shooty McShooterson tied up nice and tight in a shack out in the scrapyard. Okay. But now he's all yours. Turn him over. Give him his just desserts. It's your call to make. There's no way Barrett shot those people, right? No way. Are there any other gun-armed dudes who might have gone on a killing spree? We know him. He'd never do that. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Yeah, I mean, I agree. He, he would never do that. Go Is that a vulture? Cause I'm pretty sure a vulture should be like a killing bird. Cause I really don't remember the last time I've seen Spider-Man Homecoming. But still, Green Goblin is my number one favorite villain. Tornado. Not good at all. Oh no. Yep, that's not good. Run! Damn it. This way! Barrett? Move! on sun for weeks <laughs> thank 
God, we found you. We were worried. You on the lamp, big guy? The hell I am! Oh. <sighs> what are you guys doing all the way out here, anyway? Looking for whoever decided to shoot up the Coliseum lobby. They said huh? the culprit had a gun for an arm. They did, huh? Tell me it wasn't you. Frankly, it might as well have been. Why? Barrett, talk to us. Yeah, we'll understand. I know the man who murdered all those people. Dine. Dine. My best friend. It was four years ago. The corral reactor had just gone up. Dine and I had been to check it out, see what the deal was. But on our way back. None of this makes any sense. That explosion could have brought down the whole mountain. So where the hell's Shinra? That's a damn good question. Whatever. We need to get back. Tell them what we found. God. No. Shinra, they just showed up and started shooting. I think they're trying to cover up what happened at the reactor. To pin the blame on... Oh! Hey! Please. This ain't happening. God damn it. The village. Marlene and Eleanor might still be there. You ready? For what? <laughs> still so quick to throw in the towel, ain't you? Come on. Everything. Shinra has a reputation for safety to uphold, which makes you liabilities. Is that how Barrett oh, lost his arm? Saved me. Put me back together. And that's how he has a gun for arm. Most of me, anyway. There was no saving my arm, so I made a call. Instead of the normal prosthetic, I chose a means to an end. Guess Stein had the same idea. Yeah. I guess he did. I'd resigned myself to the fact that he was dead, but if I'd known he'd survive too, I... 
So that's why Dain shot all those people? To get back at Shinra? Yes. I don't know. And I saw him at the saucer. Saw the bodies and the bullet holes. But that's not who Dain is. Whatever his faults, he's not a monster. If I can find him, talk to him. I know we can figure this out. Well, we'll okay. find it for you. What are we waiting for? No time like the present. Yeah. First, before we end the video, we're gonna go to our safe. We're gonna go to the safe spot. But first, let's open this chest, see what we get. So it looks like it's something for Barrett. Here's something to make you feel better about your friend. Ooh, this actually looks nice. Barrett. Well, maybe I'll play that in the next video. So anyways, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in part 11. Bye-bye.